In this video, we will talk about norm reference and criterion reference interpretations. Norm reference interpretations means you versus others, or your score will be compared to other students who take the same test, and result is interpreted by comparing one student with another student who take the same test. And the quality of achievement is determined by the distance of his score from the mean or average. Say for example, Jin's score is 3 points below the mean. Or you could have Jin's score is 5 points above the mean. So your score will be compared to others. The score of others is the mean or the average. And this is used to describe relative placement of scores such as first, second, third, and etc. or top one, top two, top three, and etc. And it will answer the question, what is your rank after all the scores are arranged from highest to lowest? Are you the first or are you the highest? Are you the second, third, or are you in the 25th? Are you in the 26th? Or what is your rank after all the scores are arranged from highest to lowest? And your performance is always relative to the group even if you're the highest or lowest, not as high or low. Say for example, even if you get a score of 97 out of 100 and you get the lowest score, but 97 out of 100 is not a low performance. Another example would be you get 3 out of 10 and you are the highest score. And 3 out of 10 is not a high performance. It's actually a low performance. That is why in norm reference interpretation, your performance is always relative to the group. Examples may include valedictorian, salutatorian, winner, highest, lowest, best, smaller, shorter, third, and many more. As long as there is ranking, there is comparison, there is order, that is norm reference interpretations and these are the possible keywords ranking ordering arrangement grading on the curve and percentile ranks are always associated to norm reference interpretations so when you encounter this grading on the curve and percentile ranks it is always associated to norm reference interpretations and usually, it makes use of comparable statements or superlative degrees that would include good, better, best, more, and most. So these are the superlative degrees. If there is comparison between you and others who take the same test, that is norm reference interpretation. And you cannot compare if they are taking different exams. Now, let us go to criterion reference interpretations. By this time, it means you versus criteria or standards, or your score versus the criteria, or achievement of individuals is compared to the criteria. So, for example, the LET exam has a criteria of 75%. So, if your score is 73, it means you are below the criteria. Or if your score is 85, that means you are above the criteria. Achievement is determined by the distance of his score from the criterion established. Again, for let exams, so for example, you have 75% as the passing rate and you get a score of 85%. It means you passed and you are 10% above the criteria. If you are 74% in the LET exam, you are 1% short of the criteria. Performance is interpreted by describing what the students can do, meaning passed, or cannot do, meaning failed, with respect to the criteria or standards. Or in criterion reference interpretations, it's simply pass or fail. Your performance versus the criteria. It's either you pass the criteria or you fail the criteria. And this is used to determine learners' mastery of knowledge and skills. And scores are simply 
on or above the criteria or below the criteria or standards. If you are on or above the criteria, meaning you passed. If you are below the criteria, it means you failed. Examples may include cum laude, magna cum laude, dins lister, let exam, personal record such as time. So for example, you can run five miles in five minutes. So that is your personal record, five minutes. Keywords may include this one, can, meaning past, can, fail. So if you recognize this in every statement, think immediately of criterion reference interpretations. Now I prepared statements. We have to determine if this is norm reference interpretations or criterion reference interpretations. Number one, Paul won 100 meter race. This statement is norm reference interpretation because of the word won, meaning he got first. No? He is the winner. So that is why this is norm reference interpretation. Number two, Neri ran one mile in five minutes and 12 seconds. We have a time, which is five minutes and 12 seconds. And based on our discussion, if we have time, it is criterion reference interpretation. Number three, Vicky scored near average on the final chemistry exam. So our keyword is near average. So this is norm reference interpretation because the word average is the description of the performance of other students who take the same test with Vicky. Number four, Mary can separate alcohol from water through distillation. So we have our keyword can. So this is criterion reference interpretation and the criteria is to separate alcohol from water through distillation and Mary passed that criteria. Number five, in geometry, Aeon cannot bisect an angle. So we have the keyword connect. So meaning Aeon fail the criteria, which is to bisect an angle. So this is criterion reference interpretation. Number six, Joy obtained the best score in math test. The key word here is best. So this is a superlative degree. So this is norm reference interpretations. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe for more. Bye-bye.